We've been talking about this and no doubt the rate of unemployment is historical right now. So let's look at forecasts. These forecasts literally have come out and been revised in the last day. This is a, a new slide. We were, you know, the top end forecast up until uh, a day or so ago was 15% by Goldman Sachs. Um, we'd use that as a conservative approach. Now, JP Morgan has come out and said, uh, we believe it's going to hit 20% this year. Uh, Merrill Lynch has adjusted their, uh, their forecast. So we're always going to take conservative forecast, meaning what is the one that says the most people are going to lose their jobs so that we can, we can you know, use that data and, and, um, and, and plan to that. And so as we look at these unemployment rate forecasts, and I'm sure they will be updated and we'll bring those updated uh, numbers to you as we have them, I, I want to I remind you of one thing because there's this idea that, hey, if 20% of the people lose their job, nobody's going to be able to buy houses. But, but let's remember this. Even if 20% 20, 20 of people lose their jobs, 80% of people still have a job. And so 80% of the people are still able to get out there and, uh, and, and transact business. And so let's not forget that as we look at these numbers, and these numbers are historical, they are, they're large, larger than certainly what we've seen before in this country on a weekly standpoint. Not larger in, uh, in some of the scope of unemployment, but certainly weekly. If you've seen that graph, it takes along and shows unemployment kind of going up and down and then this ginormous jump over the last few weeks. There's two things we want to we, we want to talk about um, when we look at unemployment, we want to talk about the depth of unemployment. And by depth, I mean, is it 15%? Is it 20%? How deep does it go? But then you always want to look at length. That's the important piece. And length is more important than depth. And there are a lot of people right now that are saying this is going to be like the Great Depression. And so what our team did is we took those forecasts and we graphed them. And I wanna park here for just a minute and talk about this. Because what you see here is you see a graph, if we start from the left, the black uh, line is the JP Morgan projection that I just went over showing 20% employment. The red line is the Goldman Sachs projection that peaks out at 15%. And then this lighter brown is the uh, Great Recession. And then the darker brown there is the Great Depression. So what we say, we said, let's look at the depth and let's look at the link. This shows from where we started, how long did it take us to get back there? And so both of these examples here in projections today, when we look at uh, before where we were, the start, and then in year one and year two, we, how long would it take us to get back there? And in that Goldman projection, it's two years to get back to where we were, two years from, from the start. In the Great Recession, it took us nine years to get back to where we were. In the Great Depression, not only did we go deeper, but it took 12 years to get back to where we were. And so while you cannot deny that people are losing their jobs and the depth is there, what we don't see is length. And that's what we're going to follow and what we're going to bring you. But this, this image, when, when I walk through here, tells a story that what we're seeing today is nothing like, nothing forecasted to be like the Great Depression, okay? I, I want to I kind of shift the conversation of unemployment to our business. And the question that comes up and is a very logical question is, what is the correlation between unemployment and home sales? And the idea of, hey, if people are losing their jobs, um, they're not able to buy homes. And, and our team went together, uh, went back and looked at all the, the research, got the existing home sales and unemployment rate and graphed them together. And, and this right here shows a very interesting picture. And, and you see the title there, unemployment rates and home sales do not have a true direct relationship. So let's talk about this for just a minute. We have, we have four positions here uh, on this graph that are marked. The first is uh, the early 90s when we saw unemployment uh, rising, and we can see existing home sales rising as well. So a situation of rising in unemployment and existing home sales rising as well. The second piece is in the early 2000s 
where again, we see unemployment rising and home sales rising as well. Uh, the third piece, and I'm gonna break this down in the next slide, um, is the housing crash around 2008 where we see unemployment rising and we do see sales decreasing, but I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. And number four is the last five years, in five plus years where we've seen unemployment falling, but home sales relatively level, okay? So going back, all the way back to 1989, we can, we can confidently say there is not a true direct relationship between rising unemployment and home sales. But let's talk about the one situation there in number three, where we did see rising unemployment and falling home sales. And what we did is we took that, that graph and we graphed existing home sales and the unemployment rate. But, but this came from a KCM member. We overlaid mortgage credit availability, and this is interesting. When we look at that graph that I showed you earlier, we see that sales fell when it got a lot harder to obtain a home loan. And while certainly, you know, there were, there were factors that played into that, you cannot ignore that there were people literally put on the sidelines that could have purchased a home that now couldn't. And so when you look at that, it starts to bring more sense to that conversation in, in more, um, more context to why sales dropped right there. So I, I think confidently using this graph, we can say that in those situations, while we saw at one time, there were other, there were other factors at play um, and something we wanna be able to get out into the market. We wanna equip you to feel educated to get that out.